Oh, the baby's adorable. When's it due? Not until the 1st of May, so it's still about a week away. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I just got to interrupt that segment right there because this is really weird, but... Why would you be interested in the set next week when Japan is going to release the set called Explosive Walker that literally is the English set that comes out in August? Ladies and gentlemen, oh my goodness, I can't believe this, but an entire week before the English Rebel Clash set comes out, Japan is going to release another Pokemon set, and this is the English August set. It's called Explosive Walker, and that sums up this set so perfectly. I've got a bit of a story behind it as well, because as you guys know, at the moment, Japan can't actually ship to Australia, so I had to pay my man, uh, Neon Cactus, and if you don't know who that is, he's just the biggest legend ever. I was like, dude, I'll pay you to go down to the card store, pick up this uh, set, you can get yourself a couple of boxes as well, and I'm really keen to open it on the channel. So he went down, he picked it up, and uh, he got not one, but three boxes. So if you guys really like this unboxing, absolutely demolish the like button. We've got another opening coming up tomorrow of the brand new Explosive Walker set. But this set right here, it's got a bunch of new cards, but the point is, it's got one chase card. One card that everyone is just buying the set to pull, and that is none other than the shiny Golden Rillaboom. Dude, I'm serious. There's a full up gold Rillaboom in the set that everyone wants to get. It's a starter, it's a shiny, and it's a gold card. So that's obviously what we're going for today. But my boy Neon Cactus that went and bought this box right, he said he bought all the boxes from different stores, and when he bought himself the box, he opened it on YouTube, and he pulled the Golden Rillaboom. So I'll link his uh, opening down in the description if you guys want to see what the card looks like. Holy smokes, I couldn't believe it. But he's like, don't worry, I bought all the boxes from different stores, so you're going to have just as good a luck, hopefully, in finding the card. So I've got my fingers crossed, I know it's possible. This set is also fantastic, because it has Tyranitar in it. And Center Scorch V Max, if anyone loves the Center Scorch. But this is the brand new set. The colors are off the chain as well, all pure gold. And I think without further ado, let's get the uh, top trimmed off and get into the brand new set. Let's do it! Alrighty guys, so as per usual, I'll link where to buy this set down in the description because I'll get so many comments I already know it as to where to buy these Japanese sets. So I'll link all this down below and let's crack into our very first ever booster of Explosive Walker. The coolest set name I've heard in like 20 years. So let's crack this open. Already, artwork's not too bad. I haven't had a look at too many of the commons and uncommons. I've had a look at the few of the... Oh jeez, okay. This is already a really good start. Is it hinting towards maybe a Tyranitar? Oh, no way! I've been called on the first one! Yo, get out of here! What? Oh, I saw Lavatar. I was like, get out of there. No possible way. On the first explosive or eruption walker, I think it could be either of the two, we go and pull Tyranitar Hollow. Look at these attacks. 250, 120, 180 HP. Oh, lads, this is a set to beat. Already, I'm thinking, low-key might be a little bit better than Rebel Clash. I don't want to say it, but I did. Oh, man, that is an awesome star. Okay, Tyranitar Hollow, you go at the back, and let's keep it going. So, this is a Japanese booster box. These Japanese boosters only have five cards a pop, and you aren't even guaranteed a regular rare. Like, it could just be an uncommon... So when we get a holo like that, you're like, this isn't guaranteed. My low tick holo straight after. That's pretty weird. My low tick is in so many sets. You know, like a V card in Rebel Clash. Now it's a holo in this set. I don't know. My, my low tick seems like it should be a bit rarer than getting slotted into everything. But you know what? It's another holo card. That's completely fine. Let's put my low tick holo at the back. Okay. We're, by the way, going for a hat trick right now. We did two. Back-to-back -back holos, and then we got the Fire-type energy. I think this uh, energy sets up the Center Scorch VMAX card really well. So if you're doing, like, competitive play, a lot of these VMAXs are, like, really usable at the moment. So that energy helps them out a bit, and there we go. Regular Uncommon. 
Now, I don't know what happened with this booster. It didn't want to get trimmed open, okay? So, we just got to hope something good's inside, I guess. The, I don't know, I was trimming it, and I just wouldn't want to come open. Alright, so we've got a bare tick uncommon right here. Then we're gonna good old Snubble, classic from the Detective Pikachu movie, and our first ever! It's a VMAX! This time it's Center Scorch! Flipping VMAX on what? Our fourth booster! Oh man, Explosive Walker is gonna be the set to beat, ladies and gentlemen. That that's the mascot of the whole thing. Center Scorch, VMAX, Ultra Rare card. Look at him! I can't believe we've got the mascot on like the fourth booster in! There's only, what, 70 cards in this set as well, so it's not an insanely big set too. Alright, send a Scorch, I'm gonna put you at the back, but already off to a great start. Put, look at that, a hat trick of pulls. Two holos, and one of the holos is a Tyranitar. Send a Scorch VMAX, I think this is called Old Computer. I feel like Center Scorch though may be a guaranteed VMAX. Like low key, it's the mascot of the whole thing and usually when... I don't know, when I do Japanese boxes I always seem to get the mascot of the set. But I'm still really happy we did it. Because it'd be a bit awkward if we didn't. Look at that! Feebass is all by himself in the middle of the ocean or the lake. Maybe he's drowning, but he's a fish. Another hollow, this time Heat Ran. Oh no, why are you running away from me buddy? It's pretty good. Again, I feel like Heat Ran's in uh, quite a few sets, kind of like the Milotic. But I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take another holo card. Put you to the back, well, look at this, we're about halfway through the uh, pile of boosters already. It goes way too fast. Come on, Shelmet! Let's finish off, dude. This is called, I think this is literally called Strange Can. And this Strange Can, with the Psychic Eyeball Energy on it, right? Looks like a weird trainer, you're like, ah, oh, typical Japanese cards with the weird trainers. This is a full art gold card in this set. I'm not playing around. So you've got shiny Rillaboom like gold card. That's the one everyone wants to get. Then there's that. An old psychic can leaking out weird purple gas as the other gold card to get in the set. I'm not playing around, I kinda wish I was. And then another holo, this time it's Corvignite. Oh, look at him, he's got the little trainer on the back. You know what this reminds me of? The um the YouTube series they have at the moment. Is anyone watching that? Do you guys know what I mean? Did you guys see that episode? It was really emotional. I won't spoil it, but there's an episode it's got involving Corvic Knight and the gang, and it's got the taxi down here. This is wild. I almost think this could have been a regular rare. I would have enjoyed it just as much. Hollow Corvic Knight. Oh, this set is epic! Okay, I'm really happy I actually asked him to buy three boxes, so we can do two tomorrow. Please tell me you're gonna demolish the like button and you're excited. Because, like, above all else, this is a new set, right? So I'm really excited over that. But, no oh yeah, this guy's a full art card in the set as well. But knowing in the back of my mind, we're really just doing a hunt for the shiny golden Rillaboom as well. Oh, mama. Like, any moment, this thing could just go zero to a hundred. <laughs> No way! Oh, not too bad! Good old Vickervolt V card! I forgot Vickervolt's in this set too! Classic regular V! I'm not like... I'm not mad at that at all! That's sick! Alright, so regular V, Vickervolt! So many Vs in one sentence! Put you at the back as well! We're starting to rack and stack them, boys! Really good first half, I gotta say. I wonder what the second half's gonna be like. Hopefully just as good! And I'm very curious if we are guaranteed a full art, or if it's a bit like Savage. Because recently Japanese boxes have been like really savage with the ratios, where you're not even guaranteed a full art. Or another regular uncommon. Third to last booster, and we are done with half of the booster box already. You know what this, this is? This is the same spot that, um, Pokemon did the live stream for Galarian Ponyta. Isn't it? It's the same place. When I look at this image, I hear anyone that watched the live stream on YouTube where they reveal Galarian Ponyta, I can hear the you know? Uh, only if it watched it would get what I'm saying right now. No way, another one! It's Graplock V! Get in! Oh yes! One of my faves! I love this guy. Let me tell you, when I saw him in the video game, I hunted for him for a while. I couldn't catch him because it was level 50, but I eventually got there. How good is this? Choice of Pokemon, A1. 210 on the HP, 120 is the attack. So far, I reckon this is my favorite. And yes, we have pulled the Center Scorch V Max, but I love Grap Locked. Put him as a V card as well. Heck yeah. All right, second to last booster. 
Let's see what we can't get. We've got a Grimer, and then Toxtricity's got a Holo. Wow. Okay, this set's kind of just, you know, just one-upping Rebel Clash. I just can't shake the feeling that this set's kind of doing a, why would you want to buy Rebel Clash when, like, this is out. I just get the vibe that's what it's doing, you know? Toxtricity Holo card, though, looks sick. I'm really pleased with that as well. By the way, this recap's going to be off the charts if this is only half of a box. Oh man, I am pumped for tomorrow. So let's finish off old computer. All right, finish off strong. Get a regular uncommon old computer. We've got another half to go. But the real question is, is Golden Rillaboom in this half? Ladies and gentlemen, we still haven't pulled a uh, ultra, like super duper rare, like a full art, um, golden card. Granted, it may not even be guaranteed and we may not get it today. Oh, there we go, we go, we do it the first boost. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Is this the worst one or the best one? It's Galarian Stunning! <laughs> oh wow! I'm not mad actually. It's a secret rare. It's Galarian Stun Fisk. He looks like he's got a Pokeball shoved in his face. My favorite pancake Pokemon. What a weird, like, glossy, mossy green they got at the background. Dude, if it was up to me, I'm opening- Okay, you know what? I'm opening those two boxes straight away. Stuff that I don't even care if no one wants to watch it. This is an awesome set. Anything that puts a Galarian Stunfisk as a full art, I love it. 76 out of 70. So actually, there's a lot of secret rares in the set. Wow. Now, I do. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. That nearly fell to bits. I don't think. I, th I, I just have this feeling that that full art is going to be the only good pull we're going to get. Um, We should probably have a few more V Maxes and regular V cards. But as far as like full art ultra rares go. That Full Art Stunfisk is probably going to be the best one we're going to get. Just because Japanese sets are kind of like that. Not too bad, Glossopod. is a holo card. But yeah, they're quite savage with the old ratios. Look at the look at the recap. It's so thick right now. We have so many cards back there. Holy smokes. Then we got this Bell as well. Blast. Got a Feebas that I can't help but think it's drowning in the river back there. Put you to the side. And hopefully get a couple more like V&V Max cards. So let's see what we can't get. We've got none other than a Gardevoir V! That's a really, really popular Pokemon. I forgot. This is a full art card. It's like a very, very sought after card. I think it sells for just as much as Shiny Golden Rillaboom. Look at that. Gardevoir V. There's so many Gardevoir fans out there. I almost bet you guys in the comments will love this just as much as uh, the Ultra Rares that I pull throughout this box. Whoa. That is crazy! Oh man! Really happy with um, today's pulls. God of War, put you at the back, and let's put you to the side. Swing it around, and let's do this strong. Let's try and finish off the box with uh, regular <laughs> uncommon soul rock. That's alright. One from the back. We've got a strange can. I wouldn't even. You know what? I wouldn't even be mad if we pulled. Oh my goodness! Okay. Alright. It's the regular form of the Galarian Stunfist V card. We're really just getting all the Galarian Stunfist today. This time he looks a bit more angry though, doesn't he? Like, I don't want to put my finger there, he's going to bite it off. There we go, Galarian Vs. Oh my goodness, how many V cards do we have? Is this normal? This set is not that big, yet we're like somehow getting them all. Alright, Mark. Hopefully... No way! What the flip? This has to be an error! There is no way! We're getting that many Vs! This time it's Butterfree V! Oh, that is a beautiful card! It's a little bit nostalgic as well. I love Butterfree, like classic Gen 1. All the nostalgia, they've made it a V card. I'm pretty sure as well there's a VMAX um, Butterfree in the set too. Stunning! That is wild! I'm just gonna keep going at this point because we seem to be pulling Literally every single V possible. This is the ultimate video introduction to this set right here. Umbrella. I'm pretty sure this Umbrella has a fuller gold card as well in the set. Just because it's a bit of a meme of a set at this point. I'll be honest. Another uncommon. This time it's bad sick. One from the back. Swing it around. And... Can we get just one more? V card. That would blow. I don't even know if there is another V card for us to get. I'm 98% sure we've got them all right now. 
Grimer, Toxel right there, and that classic eerie forest that they did the old live stream from. One from the back, swing it around. And then we've got none other than, oh wow. We are doubling up on hollows right now. Fascinating. You know, actually that does ring a bell. Japan sets do do that. Really want this as a full art card. Pokemon Breeder. Man, that's another one I really want to go for. Hopefully we can get it tomorrow, actually. That's what I've got my fingers crossed for. Second to last booster and we are done. No way. Did I actually see something? No way. No way. Win the tone. Dude, what the flip is this set? There is our second VMAX. This time it's Butterfree VMAX God right there. Whoa, that is sick. This right here is my favorite pull of the box, hands down. 1000%. What do you guys reckon? Are you a fan of this? Look at the rainbow colors all around it. It is just so sick. Butterfree's never looked more gangster, guys. Whoa, what an introduction! Alright, so we're gonna VMAX Butterfree, and then the final booster. I'm gonna say, surely has absolutely nothing. That fire energy rings a bell. I think it's really competitive, like it powers up your Center Scorch well. Okay guys, let's have a recap of what was the craziest booster box I've opened in a hot minute. So the recap right here consists of like 5 V-Cards, 2 V-Maxes, 1 Fuller, and a ridiculous amount of Hollows. That was epic. I would 100 and 1,000 million percent. We pulled the Tyranitar Holo 2. That's probably equivalent of like getting Boss's Order out of Rebel Clash. Uh, Toxtricity as well. Glossopod. There are just so many. Doubled up on Corvic Knight. Then the V-Cards. Smashed it out of the park. As I said, we got five of them. This is unreal! Butterfree as well. Then we get our two VMAXs, the mascot of the set, which I feel like you have to get. It's Center Scorch VMAX and Butterfree VMAX as well. Really hand I can kind of tell that's hand drawn. And the full art Galarian Stunfist V as our ultra rare secret rare of the box. What do you guys reckon? Are you a fan of this brand new set? Holy smokes, it's awesome! Um, thank you again to Neon Cactus for sending this out as well. I'll link his channel down below. And uh, tomorrow, we're returning, where we're going to open up the final two boxes, and we're going to hunt for shiny golden Rillaboom. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>